Hello and welcome back to Caves of the Code. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Let's uh, go and do some stuff. I've uh, done a bit of inventory management. We can see I have, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of overweight, all things considered, but like, it's all good. Unequipped. Yeah, we are, we have about a hundred pounds to play with, which is fine. Um, but yeah, we, uh, I, I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I bought some stuff. I actually, you may, <laughs> you might recognize the glazed sidearm of Beozatara, um, was an item that we received quite a long time ago and I kind of snubbed it and I still snub it. I think it's a very snubbable item. I don't think it's actually very good, but it does one thing for us is it gives us, it gives us clairvoyance. And, you know, I, I, I appreciate clairvoyance. I think it's a good extra ability. Um, we have a little bit of uh, ego. We have plus three ego, so our clairvoyance is at plus three. And you can see our clairvoyance bubble is actually quite nice. So, yeah, uh, I'm hoping to find something better than that. Um, but for now, I think it works quite well. So let's um let's go do some more ruin diving while we wait we're lost okay never mind you discover some forgotten ruins well I, I do love me some forgotten ruins oh my god oh my god it's this guy you know what we've got a flume flyer zoom get absolutely destroyed my dude oops hard to explore when we're flume flying look at we, we do be flying Woo Zoop, zip, zippity doop. Um, let's go ahead and turn that off. That was fun. I appreciated that. Zip, zip, zoop. We've got a shoot. I don't feel like messing around with a shoot. I don't feel like messing around with anything here. Let's leave. Oh, we got some free bananas. I did buy some bananas. There's bound to be usually there's a legendary on these kind of fields am i having a visual glitch it seems to me that the um legend legendaries are not colored properly let's see i wanna let's do some stuff with beguiling oh uh one thing i didn't do is i forgot to make our i did learn how to make love injectors and we're gonna go ahead and make up as many of those as we can We've got a, a few of them. We've got quite a lot, but let's go ahead and um, we're not inspired. I'm just going to go ahead and use love, congealed love. We're not going to do anything else. I just want beguiling right now. Plus four ego. How big is our uh, clairvoyance right now? Wow, it's huge. Apparently congealed love gives us ego. This is good to know. Uh, all right, well, why don't we just try and learn uh, proselytize this guy? Wait, are they already... Oh, we're on good terms with this turtle. We can actually just, like, share a dram. We lose a little bit of that villager reputation. That's okay. Um, we're on, like... We're loved by tortoises. Amazing. Fantastic. I love that for us. Uh, we're not on good terms with dawn gliders, so I'd prefer... Discovered some flaming tar pits. Love that. We've got some like pink fossilized remains, huh? I wonder if we can harvest those for um, bone dust. Something tells me no. Small stone. What is this? It's a Namas Hartagon recoiler. We'll pick that up. Structural scanning bracelet. Um. Go ahead and disassemble that. I don't really know what's going on right now. It looks like there's tortoises burning up. I think that the dawn gliders are fighting the tortoises and they're getting burned up. Telemetric visor, I think, is actually like one of the best visual interfacing uh, items that might give us night vision. I'm not sure. Let's uh, equip it. I'll give it a go. And what's this? Displacer bracelet. I thought I might that might actually count towards um, the Betel quest, but it's it's quite a good piece of tech. Our telemetric visor is not working for us right now. 
So we'll go ahead and um, equip a nuclear cell in it because I just have infinite of those. Another structural scanning bracelet. We'll go ahead and disassemble that. Boop. Grab the... I'll grab the solar cell. Small sphere of negative weight. My lord. That is a nice find. We found another tar flaming tar pit. I don't think they're generally... I don't, I don't think that they actually appear next to each other like that. So have step sewers. These are nice. Thermoelectric cell is always a good find. I would like to learn how to make that. That will be good. Thermo cask. Oh, we can't use this. It's a nice find. Um, I actually think I should disassemble it. I know it's probably worth something. I think it's probably worth a lot, but it's also 40 pounds. I'll pick it up for now, but um, I don't know. As soon as we are over encumbered, I think it's the first on the chopping block. Got ourselves a nano pneumatic jack jackhammer. Love that for us to disassemble that. Uh, I know that it's like our beloved friend from uh, Galen's playthrough, but uh, I'm good. Ooh, ganglionic teleprojector. There we go. That's that is a good find. I'm gonna go ahead and make use of that right away. Let's go ahead and equip that. Uh, let's install a nuclear cell, because why not? And go ahead and equip it automatically. Yeah, we're going to lose some stuff, but that's fine. Uh, actually, before we leave, I feel like rolling the dice once more. Do you think there's more flaming pits around here? I, I, I can't help but tarry salt desert surface. Rusty salt desert and tar pools. I mean, there is some stuff here. Uh, we found um, information on a legendary Isakari rifler. We gotta, we gotta give uh, the teleprojector a little moment. I'm not sure if that will give us, um, allow us to become friends. Okay, so that is a, a question. Answers is the oh, never mind. Telemetric visor. Does that give us night vision? Your telemetric visor beeps, it dings. It seems to me that it does not give us night vision. Therefore, it is not as good as just wearing night vision goggles. Kind of a bummer. We could modify something with extra an extra face and then have like the telemetric visor and night vision. I know that there is, uh, maybe it's the visage, but there is a face slot which does give us like everything gives us uh you know night vision gives us uh visual on structural stuff bio scanning all of that business um where was i going i think i was just gonna go do some ruin diving i got like highly pulled away there oh uh we were gonna go down now now that i have a ganglionic teleprojector we're gonna go down to uh you guessed it, the place where we get chromed. Get ourselves chromed. Because why not? I was going to say, I don't know if the ganglionic teleprojector allows us to make friends with robots. It would be kind of nice if that was the case. You, dude, just cost me some bits. We are overburdened because we just collected 182 drams of water. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Um, we'll go ahead and re-equip the nylon body pack. I should really, like, set it to not um, auto-collect fresh water, but I'm a very greedy person, so therefore I want all the water. You'll have to forgive me. We are still going to head down to... You're lost. That's fine. We, we know where we're going. We're heading down. To our special area over here. Here we are. Insp inspired. Hey, that's nice. Why are there... Why is there frozen frock here? Frozen furs. That's a weird one. 
That is highly strange. Some weird things going on here, I will say. Um, copper nugget. I uh, got a musket. Disassemble that. Copper nugget. Grab that. And we want to find ourselves... If you, if, if you don't know what this is, I mean, it's it's a weird one. It's like debatably a, a bug of cud. Mine drone dies. Did we just kill the lad? I don't think so. We're looking for a um, particular lad. Is this guy chromed? Friendly, trivial. Okay, cool. Um, that's a mind drone, I think. No, it's a sentry. We're no longer friends with the pilgrim. Um, this is a mind drone. Okay, so we don't care about that. We care about this guy here. So, um, again, if you don't know what's going on here, basically, what happened here? What is going on? Chromed feral dog. The friends were friends with them. Uh, this is a weird special robot that will um, give you a permanent effect. It's just an upgrade. It's just a straight up upgrade. Uh, but getting it is tricky. Uh, there's not too many ways to do it. You can either dominate them, rebuke them, I think, since they are technically a robot. And then also, um, at, if you get a, te a ganglionic teleprojector, then you can use that to uh, dominate. And I'm pretty sure once we've dominated, what's happening? You take control of the grab. Why is it going over here? It's like got a mind of its own right now. I won't like. I just want to see. Stop it. I just want to see if it's already done the thing. Projecting consciousness. I don't think that it's done it yet. We just kind of want to bump into ourselves. Once we've once we've dominated it, it will pretty much automatically do the thing. Um, target, I don't know, attack, chromed. Oh, we chrom we are chromed now. Okay, so it chromed us. We can break the domination now, and we can kill it. I don't really care to, you know, we could like, we could keep it around and chrome our friends, but uh, basically, it's it's a it'll graft us. It's one of the weird things like we it, it almost counts as a cybernetic and yet we get it for free um not sure if, unfortunately it won't show us where like it, it doesn't really seem to show us where this grafted ability is or effect but i'm pretty sure you can see our av is now 21 so chromed i'm pretty sure is like a plus four to av or something insane like that. It's like either plus four or plus three. So it's just a permanent plus three bonus to us forever. Um, it's it's a weird one. I can't, I, you know, hard to hard to really explain all of that. Like, you either know about it or you don't. Um, I can't remember where I found out about it. I think I found out about it either from the Discord, the, the Caves of Code Discord, or from reading the wiki. It's, a, it's just it's strange hey you know what symbiotic firefly we don't we currently don't have a floating object because um i'm using night vision goggles i don't really need a floating sphere kind of wouldn't mind buying that um hologram bracelet is also really nice handy nuke is whatever uh what could we get rid of we could get rid of these step sewers we'll get rid of the thermo cask um, I'm gonna keep the displacer bracelet. I think I wouldn't mind getting rid of the telemetric visor, but I think I might just like disassemble it. Um, we could sell some banana. Eh, we won't sell bananas. I have so many ingredients, and I have to like really figure a bunch of that out. Okay. Oh, we're actually good. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna be making money here. I kind of didn't want to do that, but whatever. We'll get rid of a bunch of stuff. Uh, why don't we just buy some bits to shed a little bit of water here? Perfect. Uh, we are automatically disassembling all of that. Let's get rid of the telemetric visor. We'll put back on our 
snail helmet. I can either disassemble this ganglionic. We'll definitely pull out the cell. I don't actually think it provides us with it. Yeah, we, we can't even disassemble this. It's just a weird thing. I feel like it just kind of doesn't work as intended. Um, so we've got our night vision goggles on. We've got our plus one willpower. We've got good stuff going on. Um, all right, we kind of, I kind of just came here so that I could set a checkpoint. I'm going to go and, um, go back to a ruin. Yeah, we're lost. That happens. Can't really ask. Oh, did we, we bought the side, um, the firefly, but I don't think we actually equipped it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that after I disassemble all this stuff, of course, because I am very easily distractible. Um, where is it's gonna be a, like a light source symbiotic by firefly equipped that and now we are friends to insects We're uh, making quite a lot of strides here I might honestly want to uh, we'll, we'll take maybe take a pit stop at grit gate I might want to check out that named uh, historic site or the, the historic site in the river. I tend to uh, avoid them because, you know, uh, river means um, tad mad poles and mad poles means losing your arm. And no one needs that. No one wants that. No one. It's just, a, you know, bad news bears. So we'll do one more ruin dive. This will be another like one more ruin dive ep episode before we do the Earl of Amonpork. Um, recoil back to Ezra. Start the next part of the quest. We are going to have to worry about the Pewtis Templar uh, invasion soon. That's coming up. Okay, we've already explored this zone. How about... Get out of here, tree. How about this zone? Ah, we haven't done this zone. Oh, oh god. Oh god. This is awful. We've got gibbons. Why aren't we on good terms with gibbons? Why are we hostile to ogres also? That's whatever. Go to sleep and goodbye. Get killed by me. There you go. All right, that's the given dead. I don't know if we got the experience. What is happening with these gibbons? We're, we seem to be not on good terms with apes right now. I'm not sure why. Whoa, we just got slammed. Also, we're confused. We have the potential to get stun locked here. Um, Ogre is like consistently doing damage to us, which is not what we want. Um, sleep gas. Turn the tides on this. I noticed, oh, this is a legendary Ogre I'm picking a fight with. I would really like to know why my tile coloration is bugged. Cause it seems to me I, I'm picking fights with legendaries when I don't want to. Um, this guy is hated by highly entropic beings. Not a huge fan of that. But I think I'd rather make friends with him. Because I don't know what our reputation is with apes, but it doesn't seem to be good. Why can't I... Okay, control F. Apes is zero. Not sure why we're on bad terms with this guy. Um, I'm gonna go away. We're inspired right now. I'm gonna cook a meal Let's go ahead and um, Cook from a recipe we'll do our Hulk honey love injector Beguile creatures at five we'll come back and um, Beguile them. Oh, no, we won't No, we won't we could try and prosthetize them I guess they were, if they're asleep, then um, it might be that I can't beguile them. 
We have 28 turns before Beguile comes back. I'm just gonna wait for them to, you know, like, I don't know if I could rest with them in front of me. No. Nope. So I'll just go ahead and meditate. That'll give us more um, regeneration while we wait for them to kind of uh, get back to, to reality here. We have only two turns until Beguile comes back. We'll try and proselytize them. I'm convinced. One more turn for Beguile. Um, I guess we're confused, so that's not good. Okay, I think we're back to reality. We're dazed. Let's try and Beguile them now. Wow, that is not working. Your cockatrice infuriates. Release the gas. Release the gas and leave. That ogre is uh, proving to be quite the challenge. I'm going to avoid them for now. I definitely do not need to be picking fights with legend. Oh god, they're right there. I'm gonna, let's uh, do a clairvoyance. Okay, I'm good with this. We're not... We're no, oh, okay, so now the... You know what? It might have been the reason that we couldn't see that they were a legendary is because we couldn't actually see them. We were at nighttime and the night vision goggles was not showing their legendary-ness. I'm going to try one more time to beguile them. Wow, that's like really not working, huh? <laughs> I just, that's the first time I've kind of really seen the the slam effect it's really good actually um i'm just gonna kind of ro run away for now where's the ogre beguile again no still no they have like crazy willpower and it's not doing great stuff for us. So I might just try and um, put them to sleep and leave them. You know what? Goodbye. Zoop. Where are we? We are in some ruins. Oh, we were fighting some, uh, what are they called? Gallbeard. And we're, okay, so we're just in some more ruins. That's fine. We're on good terms with these apes. Flashbang grenade mark two. I don't think I have that in my repertoire, so we'll pick that up. Oh, we've got a, uh, ant. Oh, we're on good terms with ants, so we don't have to fight that queen. Cool. Car a folded carbide, a long sword. I mean, the, the moment has passed for those. They're not really relevant anymore, but can't have it all. I'll always be happy to get some of that. Symbiotic Firefly is such a, such a good item. I hesitate to call it underrated because I actually don't know how it is rated amongst cud ites. Uh, really not a fan of how often I'm fighting sawhanders. Then let's see. Let's do stunning force and shoot it. I'm gonna sprint. Really sick of sawhanders. Okay. Do another stunning force. There. Done. Are we... Did we accidentally make enemies to all of the insects on here? Yes, we did. Now we gotta fight them after all. That's fine. Kind of mash the melee button. We're fine. 
I mean, we do get quite a lot of ingredients for doing this. So I'm kind of cool with it, but you know, it sucks a little bit. I uh, gotta make sure I actually get all the stuff for having done all that. Pick up the dagger. All right, let's go back downstairs and see what's, what, we, what, what we actually got going on here. And I'm gonna start using clairvoyance because I'm tired of getting like blindsided by saw handers. Oh, look at that. It's almost like I, uh, you know, called that one. Wonder if I could get the drop on that guy. I really would like to have a, a ranged weapon again, but um, yeah, it is what it is. I don't know what the range on this is. Okay, well, that's the range right there. We have six turns on clairvoyance before clairvoyance comes back. Oh no, never mind. We have 36 turns before clairvoyance comes back. Would really like to avoid that saw hander completely, but I somehow. Yeah, figure it's it's not gonna happen. I am so tired of saw handers. Holy crap! And like, I don't have a good ranged weapon right now because I insist on using this thing that gives us increased strength, which gives us great melee advantage, but not very good uh, range advantage. So we end up in this situation a lot where we're fighting things we don't want to be fighting in melee. So I'm going to sprint again. Where did it go? Lost sight of it. Uh, let's go unlock. Please die. Finally. Good God. Please let that be the last saw hander for a little while. Getting to the point where I just want to like clairvoyance as often as possible, just so I don't have to deal with being in melee range of a saw hander. This is a Tari subterranean. Nothing too exciting. Where's our staircase? I'm assuming it's going to be behind a wall or somewhere. Oh, we have a slumberling. We'll go ahead and deal with all of this. Yes, including the apes that we just made enemies with. What do we got? Ape fur gloves pick those up why not wow our uh i guess we still have beguile so we must still be like metabolizing but our our carry capacity right now is insane <laughs> i guess we're on good terms with both cats and insects and yeah okay wow I'm just going to follow this tinker around until he places some stuff that we want to uh, disassemble. <laughs> Believe me, I know it's insane that I just like am standing in front of chain turrets so I can wait for swipe to come off cooldown. It's stupid. It's stupid, but like I, they do no damage to me at all. So I'm very content with this there's like four statues in proximity here that's quite the find anything cool any information nope we know all of that stuff we've got more livid creepers we got more chain turrets we're gonna end up on bad terms with this uh Ape, I just know it. Yeah, it's it's happened already. <laughs> That's the downside of electrical. You know, it it's just uh it makes enemies to everyone. I wish I could learn the modification encrusted with snails. Because then I would just like befriends the mollusks and I wouldn't have to deal with them again. 
Can't remember if I already killed the slog. I don't plan on drinking the, the forbidden soup, but, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to have the slog as a friend. Uh, okay, well, you can say there's nothing left, but I can definitely see that there's still more stuff. Oh, we got a moth. Doop, doop, doop. Swipe. Livid Creeper, kill. We're getting up there. Level level 30 is when things start to get pretty interesting. It's around the time when you just like kind of run out of things to buy. Oh, don't don't kill our tinker friend. I know it's telling us that there's a tinker friend like right. Okay, uh, it happened again. I have now taken measures to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, but uh, yeah, my, my shortcut key uh, conflicted with uh, commands that I commonly use in CUD. You'll have to forgive me for that. Sorry, um, we missed, I guess, four strata. However, you didn't actually miss all that much. I got a couple of bits. Really nothing too exciting happened. I did find a dervish. I think that that was the most exciting thing. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. I, I have rebound my... Uh, basically recording ending and recording beginning uh shortcuts to ensure that doesn't happen anymore um frustrating but you know it is uh, now that we have a solution i think that it's it's fine maybe so anyway uh, i'm gonna do a little bit more of this since i've actually been recording for longer and i mean the episode was supposed to end quite a while ago um I also, the only, the one major thing uh, that you m did miss was me realizing that I have EMP grenades and so therefore saw handers should not actually be a big deal. So, you know, there it is. There's me realizing that I'm kind of a dummy. And I have also switched my, uh, my pistols out for the freeze ray and a explosive grenade combo, which has served me quite well in the past. And I'm still going down. I, I, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Maybe too confident, but it is, it's fine. Pop. Is it still... Oh, that, that did a, way more damage to me than it should have. Um, I think partly uh, why I'm doing so well is that, like, regenerating is very quick because of, uh, because of uh, meditation. It seems to just like do really well for us and uh, we got a couple spiders so this is like a very not exciting floor okay we'll just head down strata 10 things may start to get kind of spicy soon but the one thing i'm a little bit worried about oh what is that what praetorian's cloak Fine decorated cloak of Ebullian Praetorian. I mean, I'll grab it. I don't know if it does anything interesting. It's an interesting one. Um, yeah, we're not, I mean, we're really not finding anything all that exciting. 10 strata deep. Yeah, rocket launchers are really the only thing that kind of concern me. But all the same, uh, I'm not too worried because then we could potentially swipe ourselves a rocket launcher. Um, I should really use the flume, flume, flume flyer, although we don't have it equipped right now. We have, <laughs> this is the problem with um, ruin diving is that you get, I get greedy and then I just like, don't wear one of my best items because we want I want more carrying capacity I, I just want to keep going until I oh god okay well this is fine um I'm gonna go ahead and freeze them for now hit him oh okay that's a little bit spicy this guy here he uh tends to do consistent damage but we apparently we can take him on pretty easily so i'm gonna go ahead and freeze our 
saw hander here then we're gonna switch to emp grenades i guess we could use the explosive grenades but i'd prefer not to because there's like books and stuff here and then just gonna smack smack dead that's saw hander's taken care of full right plate mail a full right long sword is kind of tempting i think um we'd have to like replace let me see here. What are we still using? We're still, we st we are still using a folded carbide longsword. Although I really don't know. I guess we have multi-arms, so it is better. Um, I'll go ahead and drop our serrated one. It's not even really worth selling. It served us well. We don't have enough strength to make use of this full rate. Like we're still only at pen eight. Um, we can moderate with tinkering, give it serrated. I could put more electrified on like other things. I think that electrified is probably better. Nulling would be nice. Could we put like nulling and electrified on it? You know what? Our current one is what? What is a cranial bane? What is that? Folded carbide. I mean, we can get rid of that pretty soon electrified and flaming um i kind of would prefer let's let's swap to this one and then we're gonna put nulling and electrified on it and um we'll keep the other one but i think that nulling will be just overall more circumstantially helpful um then flaming flaming is eh. it's just more damage it's just more damage and that's it but nulling uh nulling could genuinely save our life let me see are we astrally yeah we're astrally tether tethering stuff um so if we fight like a dervish or even a legendary dervish uh we could potentially just kind of completely nerf them i think that's how it works i've always been a little bit confused about that i'm pretty sure that that is how it works um we're gonna go we can't cook with hostiles nearby okay all right let's make a thing can preserve our fresh food that is a lot of fire ant gaster paste uh we are inspired why don't we try a new meal Concentrated Null Beard Gland Paste. Let's try Crushed Grave Moss. I'm not sure what that does, but I'm intrigued. Um, try Phase Silk and Salt Hopper Chip. I'm pretty sure it's just salt again. Plus three quickness. Guaranteed to be tasty if eaten while hungry. Whenever you phase in and cause plants to... Oh, that's awful. Plus 200 reputation with flowers, roots, succulents, trees, vines, and the Consortium of Phyta can use phasing if you already have phasing it's enhanced by two to three levels guaranteed to be tasty uh whenever you take damage from a plant you phase out that's garbage well reputation with plants is kind of nice could could actually prove useful and we can phase why is precognition and vision in our uh i guess we lost beguiling that's why Hmm, I sense that one of these is a legendary. No, okay. Carrying too much. Uh, we're picking up fresh water. Okay, you know what? Let's, um, let's bail. This is good enough. We've gotten, we've got some good stuff. I don't need any more. You know, quit while you're ahead kind of thing. We have no idea where that ruin is, by the way. That was a completely random ruin. Could have been anywhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop something that weighs a lot. Uh, let's drop our grenade launcher. Just for now. And we're going to talk to Six True. Something shooting something? Okay. Mashed leg. I'm pretty sure that is quite, quite good. 
I'll buy some more herb berries. Always can use more herb berries. It's really all there is. Um, six shoes kind of letting me down. I will say. Oh, they have a very valuable weird artifact. Um, we could make use of a new recipe I learned. I guess I just learned a recipe. Uh, check this one out. Choose ingredients. Here's what we're, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and make something interesting happen here. I don't, I'm not inspired, unfortunately. So if I make it happen, it will not stick. Vine wafer sheaf. Oh, I choose ingredients. <laughs> Vine wafer sheaf. Sun-dried banana. Whenever you drink... Yeah. Whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you identify all artifacts on the local map. That's the one we want. Um, Vine wafer sheaf just ends up being such a super relevant uh, ingredient because it, it, it allows you to proc interesting things like that. So now we're going to drink... Um, drink. Water container. That's not what we wanted. We wanted water container. I wish this part was easier. Drink. I'm just going to do it a bunch of times because, you know, it never works the first time. Until it does, you know, of course. But, you know. I'm just going to do it a bunch of times. Drink. Yes, that's fine. All right. Now we talk to Six True. What do you got? Anything cool? Uh, where oh null ray pistol. I mean that's pretty cool. Probably what's making it very expensive is actually the trinket inside, which I'm assuming is going to be like an antimatter cell. I wouldn't mind having an antimatter cell. I wouldn't say no to that. Um, kind of expensive. So this Praetorian cloak is actually quite valuable. I really wouldn't mind wearing it before I sell it just to see what it does. Sell this feathered plaster for jerkin. Can't even... Oh, I guess we can't wear the... No, the cloak is a back item. So we should be able to wear that. Um, I'd like to sell the telemetric visor, but I'd like to get the cell out of it first. We'll sell these combustion cells. Uh, bu 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 bu. We could sell a bunch of fire ant gaster paste. No way am I going to use all of this. At some point we got kudzu or a rubber seed tree. We're getting all kinds of cool glands and stuff, you know. Love me some glands. I think we're going to make it, but it's going to be probably more expensive than it's worth. I'm actually going to throw some trade goods at this. Jack's engraved laser pistol. Um, let's look at that real quick and sell that. And I'll take back my cybernetic credit wedge. Perfect. Look at that. Uh, but not perfect, actually, because we want the herb berries as well. I don't know when we picked up a scoped chain gun, but apparently that's quite valuable. So we'll go ahead and sell that. Uh... I know we haven't been using our geometric, uh, what's, what's it, but we will eventually one day again. I know it's good. I just don't think it's as good as people think it is. I know it hits everything, but it hits everyone for so, such low damage that I, I cannot, I cannot get out of bed to care, you know? What else do we have that we could sell? Don't know. I mean, I could sell some Taco Supremas, I suppose. Uh, we could sell this thermo... Oh, no, I want to learn how to make the thermoelectric cell before I sell it. Sell this solar cell. How about that? Evens things up a little bit. Um, I know... Uh, hmm... Oh, the homo electric wrist warmer, maybe. I don't know. 
grasping at straws here i'm gonna sell the taco supremas we've wasted enough time doing this because i i know that watching someone do trading and bartering is possibly one of the most boring things um i guess i could sell some phase silk we don't need all that i mean i wouldn't mind using it but all right one taco suprema done off to pony up 45 drams that's fine uh let's real quick i am interested in this what, what happens when we wear this uh seems like nothing is it just 2 dv is that is that what's cool about it and i guess we can mod it we can mod it with this refractive <clears throat> so it's just a nice cloak Eh. Mm, yeah, whatever. We can put our displacer bracelet on. What does this do again? I forget what it offers us. Should have paid more attention to the ability it gives us. What? Oh, what is happening? I don't think I like this. Okay, taking that off right away. That is that is really weird. <laughs> Um, okay, we, we also, we did identify everything on the board. So that means we can see what Ela has, if anything. So she's got a bunch of whatevers. What does Sharp do? Plus one penetration. Quite nice, actually. Eh. Eh. Well, um, tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and... Eat another meal with sun-dried banana, and I'm going to identify... I would like to know, can we identify how to make this displacer bracelet? Reason being... Uh, where is it? Artifact? Yes. Yes, we can. Um, I'm pretty sure we could make a couple of these and then give them all to the Betel in Bethesda Sousa. I think that counts as uh, displacing. And I'd also like to learn how to make a telemetric... Or sorry, thermoelectric cell. There we go. Quite they're pretty expensive, but like not as expensive as the uh, the lava that we can carry once we're using them. Um, and I mean, like now we've kind of opened up the game to you know we can buy whatever we want. Now at this point we are oh wow this had a thermoelectric cell in it, so that's that's why it was so expensive. Still, a uh, null ray pistol sounds kind of exciting. I kind of wish I could uh, get the skills to use it without buying them. Find someone who could teach us how to use pistols. Um, I guess I'll re-equip. Uh, I'll re-equip the gambler's col colossal sidearm and the glazed sidearm. Reason being is uh, I do actually, <clears throat> sorry, I, I do have a better method of dealing with saw handers, which is the AMP grenade, so I, I shouldn't be so um, spooked by them. But I don't know, we'll have to figure out a better method for all of that. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, sorry we missed a gap, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't do much about that. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.